Hey, welcome back to Behind the Scenes here at the Creepy Crawler's Garage. Let's go ahead and head on into the garage, see what's going on this week. Last Friday on the RC Basics episode, I highlighted the use of a 3D pen to do fake or faux welds on styrene. Um, and I had a lot of people ask the question of, well, two questions really, what is a 3D pen and what 3D, 3D pen are you using? So they answer the first question of what is a 3D pen. It's, it's actually very simple. It's a 3D printer nozzle that's built into a pen shape or a pen form. There's a heater element and then there's just a gear feed that feeds stick, ABS, or PLA through it. So it allows you to just kind of freehand uh, 3D printing. Pretty simple. Uh, they're pretty basic tools. Uh, they can be quite handy in the garage for doing things like doing fake welds or faux welds, uh, maybe doing heads of bolts, small just details like that. They're really made to do like crafty type stuff. That's what the, the 3D pens are really for is just doing some crafty uh, 3D art kind of freehand type stuff. Um, but I, I find them quite useful uh, in the scale shop for, for using it um, mainly for welds and those kind of things. Um, and then the 3D pen that I'm using is the Three Doodler Create Plus. Um, so I did a lot of research actually before I bought this one. Um, this isn't the cheapest pen, but it's also not the most expensive pen, uh, but it is the best, it reviewed the best as an all around, uh, for all around pen, dollar for value or value for dollar. Um, so that's that's why I went with the three the three doodler create plus in fact I left a link for it down in the description if you guys want to want to check it out go ahead and check it out for yourself uh, but it's kind of a neat tool not a must-have in the shop um, but I think it's it's kind of cool for doing um, some scale accents on your builds also this week on the RC shop you saw we're gonna be chroming bull gear RC's ugly Bubba chassis um, and we're not gonna chrome this in the traditional sense like you think of chroming a bumper on a full-size car. We're actually gonna paint it chrome and we're gonna do that by using Molotow Liquid Chrome. Now this stuff's actually pretty cool. You've seen me use it before. I used it on the Highway One Crawler's axles. Um, it actually gives a true chrome finish with paint. So anyways, I wanted to point that out. I, wanted to, I was gonna also throw a link to this down in the, uh, the description if you wanted to check this out, because this stuff's pretty cool. And be sure to check out this week's episode so you can see uh, how this turns out. Basically, we just gotta prep this real well, and then we'll spray it with the Molotow. And I think that's how you say it. It's uh, M-O-L-O-T-O-W, I think it's Molotow. Um, but we'll spray it with this and you'll see uh, what a spray chrome can look like. Um, it's not that old chrome like you used to use from, a, you know, the testers made where it's really just silver. This is true chrome. Anyways, be sure to check that out this week coming up on the RC shop also. And the last thing I want to talk about this week, guys, is the flatbed for the Highway 1 crawler. So we've been working on this. Basically, this is this is filling two roles. Uh, one, this is going to be the bed for the Highway 1 crawler uh, and hopefully a really nice one when it's done. But it's also the prototype for a production bed that I'm going to be doing uh, and selling it in the online store you see here. So the idea is that I'm gonna take the measurements from uh, from this bed that we're building for the Highway 1 crawler, uh, and then I'm gonna put it into Tinkercad and build this into a 3D model, um, and then kind of break it up into a kit form uh, that you would assemble yourself. You would paint, you would assemble yourself, and which I think would help keep it very affordable um, when it's done. And I'm hoping to have this available uh, mid or end of May. So the mid to the end of next month, I hope this to have this available in kit form. Now with that said, I've also had people reaching out about doing one of these for different type trucks, uh, specifically like a four door dually version. Well, that's possible. Um, it would be a custom build and I would be, I would love to do something like that. I'd be happy to do that. And in fact, if that's something like you want, something that's gonna be more custom or one off, please reach out to me to my email address down in the description. Uh, here at the shop, we do all kinds of custom work and we'd be happy to help you guys out with the custom work that you need done. But with this bed, it's gonna be made into a production bed, which fits a, 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 a TF2 single cab. Um, so that'll be available too. Again, it's gonna be in kit form, so it's gonna be in pieces that you put together, paint up, do yourself uh, how you want it to be done. Um, but anyway, so that's, we're going to be, this, we're going to actually finish this week on the show. I'm going to finish painting it. I got to, I'm going to build some little latches, um, for the doors to keep the, uh, keep these doors closed because the, the hinges keep them closed pretty well, but I'd like to make sure they stay closed 
just in case any scale items get put in here out on the trail you don't want anything falling out so i'm going to build some some latches for these um, some detail to come uh, on the headache rack and then some scale items that are going to be going in the back going on the back of the bed here that are going to be very unique to highway one um, basically some stuff that they're actually wanting to do uh, so we'll get to utilize these 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 tie downs and tie down some scale items back, back there. But anyways, that's what's going on with the, the Highway 1 crawler bed. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys an update as far as, because uh, I've had a few people asking, more than a few actually, I've had quite a few people asking that, and these will be available uh, for you guys. And I think it's gonna be quite affordable. I really, that's my whole plan is to make them very affordable for you guys. Uh, but they will be coming at the online store. Other items at the online store, of course, um, I did have somebody reach out, there are t-shirts um hats all kinds of merch if you want to support the channel also check those links out in the description i left below that's a good way to help the channel out too um, and then of course there's always patreon um, we've got exclusive builds going on right now over at patreon for one dollar a month um, you can partake in those exclusive builds literally just one dollar a month uh, head over there to this address if you want to check those out thank you for joining me thank you for supporting the channel guys thanks for stopping by behind the scenes here Listen to me ramble about some of the stuff going on here in the shop, and I'll see you uh, see you this weekend for the uh, for the next RC shop episode. Talk to you later. Bye bye.